Building a wood project usually starts with finding a plan, and that's easy to do. A quick search online will give you thousands of woodworking plans to choose from. But what if you have a project idea of your own? What if you want to build something that has a unique size or shape? Or something that needs to fit in a particular space? All the plans in the world won't help you now, because it's nearly impossible to alter the design of an existing plan. That's why I created the Easy Wood Project Designer. It's the perfect tool for helping both beginners and experienced woodworkers bring project ideas to life. But don't let the name fool you. This is not a software program. The Easy Wood Project Designer is a unique set of templates, diagrams, and guidebooks that require nothing more than a simple pencil and a passion for building. If you can imagine it, you can build it. You'll start by creating a rough sketch of your project idea. Don't worry, you don't need to be an artist. The Easy Magic Drawing Cubes let you sketch your project ideas in 3D even if you can't draw in perspective. Just follow the lines in the template and let the magic cube do all the work. It's just that easy. The basic cube is perfect for sketching projects like cabinets, tables, workbenches, sheds, and playhouses. The tall cube is ideal for drawing bookcases, cabinets, and outdoor projects like pergolas and garden trellises. I like to use the wide cube for sketching decks, patios, stairs, retaining walls, even flower beds and water gardens. Once you have a clear picture of the project you want to build, it's time to decide how many boards you'll need to complete the construction. Lumber is not cheap, so it's important to find the most efficient way to cut your project pieces from each board. The Easy Cutting Guide lets you quickly determine the number of boards you'll need for a project, and the best place to cut each piece to avoid waste. I've included cutting guides for all the common board sizes you'll find at a home center, like 1x2s, 1x4s, 1x10s, 2x4s, and 2x6s. Plus, a special plywood cutting diagram for laying out project pieces on a 4x8 panel. For those who like more precision, I've included a scale ruler for drawing exact dimensions when laying out your project. Both the ruler and the companion graph paper are 1 12th scale, which provides a nice bird's eye view of your entire project. It's a good way to quickly spot mistakes in your design before you start to build. The scale ruler can also be used with the cutting diagrams. It's a quick way to see how many pieces you'll be able to cut from the same board, and which arrangement uses the least amount of lumber. Still scribbling notes on napkins? The Easy Wood Project Designer provides a better way to organize and plan your next project. The timeline template can help you anticipate the steps necessary to get your project off the ground and running and spot potential roadblocks you might encounter along the way. When it's time to buy supplies, a tidy shopping list is essential for avoiding wasted trips back to the store. The materials checklist includes a detailed template for listing the boards, materials, and accessories you'll need to complete your project. You can quickly add up quantity, price, and total cost. Once your project boards are marked and cut to size, it's time to assemble the pieces. Now, if you're just getting started in woodworking, wood joints can be a challenge, especially if you don't own a lot of expensive tools, like a jointer, a planer, a dado blade, or a router table. Maybe someday you'll want to add a few of these tools to your shop. But for now, you can still create tough, durable joints with a simple dab of glue and a wood screw. But first you'll need to create a path for that screw to follow. In woodworking terms, this is called a pilot hole. Drilling that pilot hole in the right location can be a little tricky, and that's where the easy pilot hole guide comes in. It's a foolproof method for drilling pilot holes exactly where they need to be, dead center over the adjoining board just below. Simply align the template along the edge of your project piece and then use an awl or scribing tool to mark the spot. No measuring or marking, just place and poke. Perfect pilot holes every time. The eight-piece set includes pilot hole guides to fit all the common board sizes sold at home centers. One by lumber, two by lumber, and plywood panels. Have you caught the woodworking bug, but don't know where to start? My first project features step-by-step -step instructions for building three simple projects designed especially for beginners. A cutting station, a 2x4 workbench, 
and a solid pine bookcase. A quick look inside shows that these are not your ordinary project plans. My First Project features a unique planning method that lets you custom design each project to any size or shape you like. Let's take a look at the easy 2x4 workbench. You'll start by choosing a bench top size. Pick a size that works best for you in the space you have available in your shop. I've included a few suggestions, but the dimensions you choose here are completely up to you. Next, choose your bench height. Keep in mind that the ideal number here will vary depending on your height and the type of work you'll be doing at the bench. Again, I've offered a few suggestions, but the height of your workbench is completely up to you. Once you've settled on the overall size of your bench, it's time to estimate how many boards you'll need and what length to cut each board. With my first project, it takes only a few simple calculations to determine the exact length of every board you'll need to cut. Now enter those numbers on the easy workbench cut list. Be sure to take this page with you when it's time to buy your materials and supplies. My First Project takes you step by step through the entire assembly process. No woodworking jargon here, just simple, easy to understand instructions written especially for beginners. Woodworking plans often assume too much from beginners, leaving out critical steps in the building process that experienced woodworkers no longer need. How to Build Anything fills in the missing pieces with easy-to-follow instructions for choosing tools, buying lumber, and constructing simple wood projects, all with materials you can easily find at your local home center. Part 1 starts with a quick overview of the three most important tools you'll need. A circular saw, a power drill, and a jigsaw. I've included some of my favorite tool tips for beginners, which includes knowing which jobs a tool can or can't do and how to avoid the most common mistakes people make. Part 2 is all about boards. Let's face it, shopping for lumber can be confusing. That's because most home centers cater to professional contractors, not project builders like us. Sure, you can always ask an employee for help, but good luck finding someone in the store who knows any more than you do. That's why I've devoted an entire chapter of this book to buying boards. You'll discover which boards are best suited for small projects, how to sort the good from the bad, and the best way to get boards off the shelf and home safely. In part three, you learn how to bring all the different parts of a wood project together with screws and fasteners. I've included all my favorite tips and tricks for creating tough, solid joints using simple, inexpensive tools that you may already own. Part four is all about building a box, which you'll soon discover is the basic structure for all wood projects you'll ever build. In this section, I'll show you step-by-step step how to bring the sides of a box together for making cabinets, bookcases, or any type of project you can imagine. There's nothing more frustrating than a stubborn wood screw, and that's why I've devoted Part 5 entirely to fasteners. In this section, I'll explore the most common problems people have driving screws and how to avoid them. The final step in building a wood project is applying a finish. Pine is great for building simple wood projects, but getting a nice finish on this type of wood can be a challenge. Pine often leaves dark streaks and blotches when stained, and lets stubborn knots and defects show through even after applying several coats of paint. However, with the right preparation, pine can take on a beautiful high-quality finish that will last for generations. In part 6, I'll reveal the secrets that professionals use to get that perfect finish on pine, using stain, paint, or a clear coat finish. The best part about how to build anything is that the book makes no assumptions about what you do or don't know about woodworking. Even if you've never owned a power tool, how to build anything can give you the skills and confidence you need to build hundreds of simple projects for around the home. Each component of the Easy Wood Project Designer normally sells on the web for $14.95 each. That's a total cost of nearly $60. However, I've been able to bring together all of my project design tools into a comprehensive package with a one-time price of $30. That's a 50% discount that I'm passing on to you. The best part about my Easy Wood Project Designer is that all your components are PDF files that you'll download and save to your computer. That's good news if you're planning to build more than one project, because now you can print as many copies as you need of the worksheets, templates, and guides. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced woodworker, I think you'll find the Easy Wood Project Designer to be an invaluable tool for bringing your project ideas to life. But I'll let you decide that for yourself.
If for any reason you're not thoroughly delighted, I'll refund 100% of your purchase, no questions asked. Just click the Add to Cart button on this page to get started. And remember, this is not a software program. The templates, diagrams, and guidebooks require nothing more than a simple pencil and a passion for building. If you can imagine it, you can build it. Thanks for watching. Be safe in the shop and do good work.